coaching and mentoring men of what to tolerate from women, you know, submissive women and things, things like that. But to what end? I'm not sure if I understand your question. Like, to what end as far as, like, isn't there an end goal? You know, we talk about women not having high body counts to usually get to the, the goal of marriage, you know, or someone or a man taking you seriously, right? So if, if women are trying to get to the goal of marriage and tell a man, oh, it don't really benefit you, it's kind of like, you know, what, what's the point of us even watching the content or being involved or trying to change or whatever? Do, do you, do, you must have missed a couple of conversations before. Because uh, what, I, what I keep telling people is that um, uh, marriage is a tool. You just have to understand the pros, the cons, the impacts and the risk of said tool. You have to have an exit strategy. You have mm -hmm. to have an exit plan. That's why I feel like so many suckers go into this shit, breadwinners, but not getting prenups. Because of love, which is complete and utter bullshit. Because no, love is an emotion. Right, yeah. I'm coming to see y'all with a video, and it must be a bullshit-ass topic if I'm all dressed up and I feel like I need to look the part. <sighs> so today we're going to be reviewing some content from another YouTuber whose name I do not know, but we refer to as Kevin Samuels 2.0 since that is the bullshit that he's basically promoting. Um, his channel is called Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews, which makes sense because everything that he says is very mediocre in nature. <laughs> so the name is very fitting. So basically, um, this guy is promoting that women don't get married. And we will watch the clip. I will insert the clip. Um, just various parts of it because I really don't want to give bro too much clout uh you can go watch it on your own time but there are certain things that he said that i want to review and i feel like we need to talk about as a community especially a community of women because the this is the this is the dating pool and like i said y'all know i don't believe in dating if a man isn't courting you preparing you for marriage then exit him out your life that is literally my stance um now I don't believe in hookup culture. I don't believe in dating culture. Unless a man is settling, is ready to commit, settle down, it's a no. You don't give him your time of day. You don't waste your time in any type of way. And men like this are the reason why. So let's get into what he says. So his stance on marriage is he believes that there is no benefit for marriage for men. He believes that there is benefit for women, obviously, which honestly is unjustifiable Hold on. Let's just hold on. So anyways, he says he doesn't believe that there's a benefit for men to marry. And he said that these statistics, he's basing this off of divorce statistics. He said that marriage is a tool that people um, should manipulate, but it's a joke to get love, get married for love. That is for suckers. Um, <laughs> so many things to cover. So, 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 so many, so many things to cover. So first of all, I don't think, um, that divorce rates are a good way to judge if someone should get married or not. I, uh, there are some other statistics that I would like you to focus on, which is that married people are 9.9% .9 happier than single and widowed people. And men are happier married than women and single men. So even men are even happier than married women. Do you understand when they're married? Do you understand that statistic? So it seems to me that always relationships, having children, everything is a benefit to men. So the one benefit that is for women is marriage. And now men don't even want to do that. So it seems to me that there's no benefit or anything. There's no benefit in sex for women. Men 100% enjoy sex more than women. There's no benefit in childbirth for women. Men don't got to... Men bear, men don't put in 50% raising children. Men don't take on the responsibility of having the children. So once again, the responsibility is bear down on the women. What, what else? Like what, what else? Men think that providing finances is the end all be all. Like they are putting in all the work because they had to put out some coins. Men really think that their money sets the tone of relationship and is, is all that matters. When y'all start to listen to these men like Kevin Samuels and Kevin Samuels 2.0, you will realize that they 
really don't have anything to bring to the table but money. And even that is hit or miss, it seems like. <laughs> like, because I really don't know if Kevin Samuels 2.0 even has any money that he's protecting, okay? So it really is crazy to me that women are always raised to this higher standard. He said some things, and I'm, I'm gonna insert all of this shit. He said, he said that in order for a woman to be appealing, yeah, and this the was bullshit. Like, that's the point. It's kind of like, how do you get them back on course? Like, how do, how do feminine, we feminine, <laughs> agreeable, mm -hmm. fitness, peace, mm -hmm. wet, viscous innards. That's generally the thing, and good meals. It, it's generally. You give those kind of things degree of attractionness within that shit, the dude's gonna be like, "Y'all, it's a lot. Men don't really care about women. It's very obvious that men, like when I hear these type of men talk, it doesn't even seem like y'all like women, like as people. What men desire is a body part. Men desire." And these men, I, I don't want to say all men because I just know all men aren't like this. But these men don't desire women. They desire footstools. They desire servants. They desire, I don't know. Like, this is not a woman. They want a pet, not a woman. Yeah, I think that's the best way to say it. This type of man wants a pet. Because for, to say that a woman is most valuable at her young age, what are you saying? It means that you only value a woman for her looks. Culture of bullshit. Okay. <laughs> My argument is that there's so many young modern ladies today that are so caught up with the Cardi B lick and flick and stick it. You uh -huh. see all the videos that I do on what do you bring to the table uh -huh. when they're when they're at their their most uh, valuable portion in life. Yeah. That's their mindset. But we also speak about women needing security. Saying? It means that you only value a woman for her looks because women are not most valuable when they're young. There's not when when I was 18. What the fuck did I know about life? What did I know about myself? Absolutely nothing. So when men say that the men, are, women are most valuable at their young age, what they're saying is women are most valuable when you can run over them. Women are most valuable when you can manipulate and abuse them. Women are most valuable when they're slow and do whatever you say. And the man, anytime a man says, I just want a woman to bring me peace, peace, when a man, when peace is among the category of all other superficial things because let's be let's be clear femininity agreeability wet innards and good meals that's that's superficial that's superficial in nature so when a man offers you a list of nothing but superficial characteristics and then throws in peace just know that peace is code for i just need somewhere to emotionally dump all my trauma aka your womb aka sex so unless you can provide me with a place for me to let out all my rage and an uncontrollable energy out of, you're no value to me. Because let's be honest, a, the, men are very aware that the womb is a sacred place. Men are very aware that a woman's vagina is a sacred place of, uh, where energy is uh, healed, changed, transmuted. Which is why men are always saying they don't want to share this, that, and the third. It's, it's all it's all propaganda because it's cognitive dissonance for men. Men know the value of pussy. Men know the value of women in general. And at the same time, it's almost like it's almost like a hate. Men hate women because we can bring life into this world. Men hate men hate women because they know how that pussy control them. But at the end of the day, y'all bitches don't even be using the shit right. Y'all y'all don't even be using y'all control right. Y'all just be giving away your power because. A lot of your power do come from your vagina. It is what it is. Because that's where you bring life at, baby. It's not a shame. You need to learn how to see it as an uptake and not be, you know, feeling so crazy about it. Okay. So this is what this was his big question. He asked the woman, How does marriage benefit a man? And the girl really didn't have no answer. She was like, Oh, let's start you start a black family. Um you know, if, if it's important for you to start a family, if it's a important for you to start a black family, then marriage is important to you. He was like, you don't have to start a family. You don't have to be married. That's an institution. Da, da, da. And to a point, I agree. Marriage is an institution. But it, it was an institution created to legitimize women and children. Do you understand that? Because without marriage, women are unprotected. 
At the end of the day, I want y'all to know that when y'all don't get married, it's you that is at the greatest risk. Men don't want to get married because they be worried about their little chump change. But that's only because men don't handle their business. If men were handling their business, making sure that the woman is provided for, making sure the child is provided for, then it wouldn't be an issue. Y'all men don't like marriage because y'all don't like to split the finances after y'all leave the woman for another woman. Y'all want to go away scot-free financially and leave the mom, a woman with a burden of raising a child for 18 years by herself with no financial help. And that's why y'all be so upset with splitting bills. Oh, but why should my money help fund her too? Because she is the one raising the kid. Unless the child is going to come live in your household and you break your back every day, go through emotional traumas with the child, ups and downs with school and grades, blase, blase. It's not, y'all Y'all make it seem like raising a child is just money and it's not. There's so much more to raising kids than just money. And that's really y'all issue. Women. And this, this I, I'm, I'm done with this man because this, he ain't shit. He, he, he just another broken down brother traumatized by women and he can't get it right. And let me tell you, the proof is in the pudding when he said there just needs to be more bar marriageable, marriage material black women in our community. There are plenty of marriage material black women in our community hopefully there's plenty of marriage material black men in our community but from hearing y'all talk it seems like there's not because as you can see women who do y'all see on the internet talking about high value men it's mostly black men i don't see white men making podcasts about being high value men that's some bullshit that our community is on because in reality our men know that they are low value and that's what it seems like to me. They know that they're not wrapped in the head and they're trying to find a way to justify their sickness instead of going to therapy. <laughs> like literally, it's getting out of hand. So I'm gonna just say this. I've said this a million times and I'm gonna say it again. Hookup culture is gonna be the death of you bitches. Dating is gonna be the death of you bitches. Having kids outside of marriage is going to be the death of you bitches. You bitches are going to spend the rest of your lives breaking your fucking back, raising a man's nappy-headed motherfucking child, all because you couldn't wait to have, let this man touch you in a sexual way. Stop giving these men what they want without getting what you want because you're taking all the risk and getting none of the reward. Sex is not that great. Sex is not that great. Everything else that y'all are giving up, you're giving up your freedom, you're giving up your youth, you're giving up your body, all to be within a man's dusty presence for five to ten minutes? Absolutely not. Y'all aren't gaining anything, and this man is very, he, he right. It's, it's sad to say it, but at this point, he is right. There is no benefit to marriage for men when there are women out here having sex for little or nothing, having sex on the first date when there's women out here willing to have a man's child and knowing that they ain't never going to be the main subject in his life. Men are winning. Y'all are letting them win when they don't, they're not bringing, they're the ones not bringing anything to the table. You are the fucking table and everything fucking on it. You are the backbone of society. So it only makes sense that marriage was created to protect women because without women, there is no society. Come on now, y'all really got to start using y'all brain. Y'all think that this is a patriarchy? It don't... That's some shit they made up. There's no fucking such thing as a patriarchy. Because there's no fucking society without women. Y'all bitches stop popping the pussy, it's done. It's done. The population numbers are already dwindling. Because women are not choosing not to have kids. At the end of the day, all of that shit is a mind game. It's a mind game. Y'all need to stop letting men win the psychological battle. They're whooping y'all ass. They let y'all believe dating was good. They let y'all believe hookup culture was beneficial to y'all. No, the only thing that's beneficial to you is being married. Being in a, a stable relationship environment. Why would you... Bro, I ain't met a single mother who um is at peace yet. <laughs> I ain't met a woman who is engaging in hookup culture that is at peace yet. These men want you to be their peace so they can be your headache. Do y'all not get this? I don't need a bunch of facts and statistics for y'all to fucking understand this. Men use logic as a way to spew non-logic. Like literally, process orientation does not equal logic. Just because you created an argument and let, come on now, we all took symbolic logic. At least I did. That doesn't mean that your conclusion is correct because at least one or two of your premises are false. False, sir. 
<sighs> okay. So I just want to end this video with this. <laughs> he said that we should be having families based off trust. If you trust me, <laughs> if you trust me, then you should trust that I'll be with you in the end. <clears throat> Wrong answer. We have seen time and time again that that is a failure. Women, don't, don't believe a man who says he loves you but don't want to make you a wife. That ain't love, baby. He like you, but he don't love you. And I'm going to just leave y'all with that. I don't have nothing else to say. Um, I will be making a video about something else that Kevin Samuels 2.0 said when he spoke on body count. I don't know what's these men's obsession with body count. Actually, I'm going to say this before we leave. The standards for women are incredibly high. Men expect the world from women. You have to be fit. You have to be pretty. You have to be basically conservative. You have to have a low body count. You have to not speak unless spoken to. It's all these things that women are supposed to be. Men are constantly judging women. If you are worried about what a woman is always worried about her hair, her parents, the way that society views her is because men are the most judgmental creatures on the purchase. And in turn, that judgment makes other women judge women so they know how they stand up against women for men. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Because that's the facts. Men, on the other hand, are always mediocre. What standards do we have for men? Like, I want you to really think about it. As a collective, what do we expect from men? They think it's money. I don't expect money from men. So, as a collective, there's absolutely nothing that we expect from men. So, men are constantly writing us off, writing us off when we don't meet the things on their collective checklist. And all of us, we're just winging it. Most of you have no expectations for men. And that's why your relationships are ass. That's why you be running yourself ragged, trying to live up to his expectation. And him doing the bare minimum skating by because you don't have any expectations for him for real. Except to be there. Just to be there. Which is really sad because they don't even do that. It's very sad. Women expect the bare minimum from men and they don't even do that. I'm fed up. I'm sick. And I really hope that y'all are fed up and sick too. <sighs> but maybe y'all are not yet. So keep following me so you can be just as fed up and sick as I am. And eventually join the wave. All right. Bye, you guys. It's your girl, baby, a.k.a. Know-it-all.